Wow, look at these. These are they look different today. It's not even nighttime. Look how different they look right now. And it's daytime, and it's not even night. Check that out. They're gonna go all the way down. You see that red line going down? And that one in the middle is gonna go all the way down. But boy, do they look different today than they did the last time in the daytime. Don't forget, this is daytime still, it's not night. They're out of their normal configuration for daytime. It's too early for them to do this. But uh, I'm glad I took a look at it. It sure is different. And right away, you'll get like 20 degrees colder right here. I guess I wasn't supposed to notice the fact that they uh, changed their configuration. And look at the ones up on top. How many? That's, that's a lot more and a lot bigger clusters than ever. <coughs> Man, that's a whole nest right there. <coughs> entire top of the building, and that, that's a two block square building. A two square blocks building. Okay, that's how big that building is. There's that daytime configuration on top going from right to left. Okay, it's, it's still there, but these ones should not be there until nighttime. These ones going down. They're going from the top down and look how long they got. They're getting longer and longer. And those are orbs. I already have a video to show that they're orbs. When a orb cloud came down from space and darkened the whole city. I took a video of this and it showed that these are orbs. they are not uh, any lights inside or outside the building that are man-made. They're orbs. So these things are taken over. <laughs> I'm not kidding. They're doing whatever they want and they're taking all our power to do it with. Not only that, they've uh, Taking all kinds of nasty shapes, like killer wasps and killer spiders, like uh, either very large ones or very close to like uh, black widow type spiders, that kind that can poison you. Nothing nice. <coughs> They've taken no nice forms. They've taken all uh, serious killer type uh, insect forms that are here on Earth already. Killers, all of them. And uh, they are taken those forms. Nothing nice. And you can see them in the air when you go closer. You can see that the air is full of them. All those little dots all over. That's all done. I just look at the top. Well, you can see all of them right there. How many there are. 
and this is daytime. The sun still hasn't gone down all the way. It's just going all the way down now. You can still see this building, but pretty soon you won't be able to see it. You see all the orbs in the air? They block everything. The other night they blocked the entire Toronto a few nights ago. And I got that on video. Okay, but that was an orb pod that came from uh, from space. I, I caught it on the moon hologram and then I caught it coming down and it blocked out all the lights except the orbs. But look how many orbs they're greeting up there and how big those clusters are. This is two square blocks. The top of that building is two square blocks. You see how they cluster around these lights there for airplanes? They're getting electricity from the power lines that go to those lights. They take it from anywhere they can. That one too. You can see them here on the building. See the clusters are starting to light up on the building that whole area let's see this one on the side okay it hasn't lit up yet all the way this one yes it has okay this one does the binary code later on okay now it's not started yet but at night these lights they turn on and off in a binary progression and create a code that coincides with all the orbs that are making another code in that big building and also on the other side there's more these they all light up but now they've just started to they're not flick flickering yet Neither are these, but I have a video of them doing it already when that orb plot came in from space, so they don't need to flicker, I already know that they do, but those are all clusters and they lined up along windows. And the funny thing is that the people inside don't even know it because they can't see that because these things affect what they can see and what they can't see through electromagnetic uh, frequencies controlling their brain. And that's the sad part. You see all the orbs in the air? Look. See them all? They just float. And look how long those things got. And pretty soon you won't be able to see that building at all. Like, see how, how many are in the air? They'll block out the whole building. And most of downtown, all you're going to see is orbs. Lately at night, that's all you can see is them. These have increased in frequency. They're going a lot faster. There's more of them. These things have gotten longer. The lights have gotten brighter. The whole thing is different every night, every night. Okay, you can compare the videos. Uh, I would like you to compare the videos that I'm putting out night by night, where, you know, every now and then 
but I've been doing it a few nights in a row just to show the difference. And, uh, you know, now I've skipped a few nights, but still, you know, in, a, in a, less than a week, these th things have doubled in size, uh, how long they are. And, uh, you know, what's going to happen next week? They're going to be down to half the building, and then you won't see the building. <laughs> It'll just be them. But uh, they, they have a whole nest up here, all these clusters right on top. I mean, these are huge. That's a lot of clusters. And they're on every tall building. And they're in all the trees and everything else. I don't even want to think how many are in the lake, because that's a big lake. Things all look good. They don't look good at all. There's nothing normal about it. Okay, and uh, I don't know what's going on, but this is an invasion for sure. And these are alien species, and they're energy entities, and their uh, their dimension is at a higher frequency, higher vibrations frequency, and that means that they can control our dimension because they are a higher frequency. It's always the higher frequency that can uh, take over a lower frequency by exciting all the atoms in it just through, you know, increasing the vibrations frequency cycles. And that's what these orbs are doing. And, you know, this is going to change the way we think. The, the way we see the world and everything. Our perception is going to change. Because uh, our perception is made for a specific frequency that the planet, you know, maintains. It's eight ohms, six to eight ohms. Anything higher or lower is not good for us. It's not good for our health, let alone uh, how, how we perceive the world. Uh, lower frequencies can make you sick and higher frequencies you know, make you see things differently and do all kinds of crazy things. And I think that's why people are being triggered and doing all these things they would never do. And they're just going off like firecrackers here and there and everywhere, all over the world. I think this is happening everywhere. And uh, besides everything else, all this activity and, and all this radiation that's extra on the planet is causing or increasing at least to a higher degree global warming because uh, what's happening is uh, there's so many of them. Just their activity alone will increase global warming, let alone all the power they're sucking out out of all our power, you know, power system and the entire, uh, uh, the entire grid. You know, they're, they're, they're burning up a lot of energy and that's all going up into heat and into the air and that's warming up the entire planet and it's going to change the weather you know eventually it'll change all the weather because uh, little by little it's going to start 
having an effect on our weather, on all the weather systems. Because these things don't stop, they're 24-7, non-stop now for years. I've been doing this seven and a half years, I've been filming them. And there's more of them than ever, than ever. Okay, there's so many of them that now you can't see the building. Okay, and that building is over a hundred stories. Okay, that's how many of them there are. Okay, and that's just in the air. I'm not even talking about anywhere else. So, it's a very serious matter. I think people better start taking this really seriously. Because, uh, I mean, if it's not too late already, something's got to be done to stop it. I mean, how, how come no one's even trying? What, what's going on? Why aren't people trying? Where is their government? Uh, what are they doing about it? And uh, what happened to all the scientists that know everything? They must know about this. <coughs> You're all going to keep quiet and let it happen or what? Something's got to be done soon. Very fast. It should have been done years ago. But, you know, better late than never, because never is going to lead to disaster. Okay, that's it for me for tonight. These things have dropped the temperature right here where I am so far down that it's freezing. <laughs> it must be localized just around me, because there, there's so many around me and they can drop the temperature if they want or raise it. Sometimes they raise it, sometimes they drop it. Whatever it takes to make me very uncomfortable, that's what they do. Anyway, right now it's very low and I'm going in. That's enough for me. Okay. Something's got to be done fast, fast. Thank you.